hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using jQuery how to check the duplicate arrays dynamically enter into a text box controls now let's enter some values email charan at gmail.com charan at gmail.com enter notice we got the error message the background and the font color has been changed Suppose if I change the email ID, I enter G. See now the background red color has been removed from the text box controls. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Right now in this page contains a simple HTML code with header tags H1, H2 and one horizontal line. Now before adding the text box controls and jQuery functionality, first we'll check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And here is the output of that code right now which contains only the header tags and one horizontal line. Now my aim is I will add some text box controls. So what are the values we are entering into the text box control that I will store into these arrays. Then I will check the arrays contains any duplicate values or not using jQuery. So let's first add a text box controls in this page. After the horizontal line, I'm adding table element border is equals to one. I'm closing the table. After that, I'm adding tr. I'm closing tr. Td td email the first td and the second td I am adding input type is equals to text I am closing the td tab let's copy this one I have added five text box controls in this table. Let's save this file. We'll check the output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got a new output after adding text box controls into this table. Now we require the jQuery functionality to check the address contains duplicates or not. So when you are using jQuery, the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link. So let's open the browser. Search for jQuery latest CDN Google. Enter. And from the search results, I'm selecting the hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries, at the corner there is a contents panel which contains the jQuery, select that one. Here we can find different snippets of CDN links jQuery. I am selecting the version 3.3.1. Let's copy this one and paste in the header section of our HTML page. After that I am adding another script. In this script, this one is just small s. I'm adding function email duplicates is a function name variable email IDs is equal to this variable I'm using to collect this text box values in an array. So I have added the array. So next I am adding another variable dollar inputs is equals to we are getting the values from the text box control. So dollar between single calls the text box control type is input I am adding class is equals to between double calls the class name is a text emails. 
so let's copy this text image and add the class to all text box controls paste in the last text box after that semicolon dollar inputs dot each function now in this function I'm adding a new variable v is equals to this dot value now the first condition if the v does not contain any duplicate values so it returns true if not v return true if the values found duplicates I want to display the alert message so if email iris copy this one this here I'm using predefined JavaScript function which is includes V this includes function checks if the values contains any duplicates or not dollar inputs dot and filtering the data function return this dot value double equals to v if the add has found any duplicate values I want to display the alert message like the text box background color will be red and the font color will be white so for that I'm adding the style tag I'm closing the style dot email is a class name the color of the text box control is white the font and the background color I want to display red if any duplicate values found in the text box controls so let's add this email dot add class When we are adding class here above the function I'm clearing the class removing the class dollar between double quotes dot email dot remove class between double quotes email and here also we require the e double quotes Now the final step, let's add the text box values to the address using push function email ids dot push. We are pushing the values, the variable v. Copy this one and paste it. Semicolon. That's it. We have written the jQuery function. Now the last step. We need to add this function name in our text box controls on change is equals to between double quotes I'm pasting the function name. So let's add this on the event on change events to all text box controls. I forgot to add the double quotes. That's it. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. Now let's enter some values. Email charan at gmail.com. Charan at gmail.com. Enter. Notice we got the error message. The background and the font color has been changed. Suppose if I change the email ID, I enter G. See now the background red color has been removed from the text box controls. 
and here I want to tell one important thing is we are user the includes function this function this includes function is a case sensitive notice the first email is a small letters the same email ID if I enter with capital letters see I'm not getting any error message so make sure the text box control accepts only the lower case when you are using the includes function in this video I'm not showing the validation part in my next video I will show you how to validate to enter only email IDs and the text box accepts only lower case in my next video I will show you that in this video I have showed only how to find the duplicate values dynamically the entered values in the text box controls using jQuery. That's it.